Hello folks, welcome to the Urban Rider Studio on a beautiful December day. It is cold and wet outside, which is never fun, but it does at least give me the opportunity to demonstrate an accessory that we have at Urban Rider, which is new to us, called Vizio Dry. So these are 22 pounds as of the making of this video, and it is a spray to be applied to your motorcycle visor to stop water from collecting on it. It is highly hydrophobic, which basically, as far as my interpretation goes, means that water is scared of it, so it bounces off. That's not the actual explanation of it. Um, I'll put it on the screen. I'll find out what hydrophobic means, but basically it does mean that water won't collect on your visor quite the same, which could be useful in the winter. Now, not just for motorcycle visors, I can see other applications for this. In fact, they list them on the uh, can itself. So you've got things like motorcycle helmets for the visor. You've got things like sunglasses, goggles, GoPros or action cameras. That one would be quite useful, actually, because water does tend to collect on lenses on your action cameras. And motorcycle mirrors, something like that. It does say not to use it on textiles, so it's not designed to be used on your jacket or trousers or anything like that but um, for areas that you need to see more clearly, obviously that's what it's designed for. Now, I'll apply it and you can see how this looks and uh, works on your helmet. For reference, this is my helmet, which is why it possibly looks a little bit less clean than some of the helmets you'd see in here. I have tried to clean it up a little bit, um, but it has been lived in. So this is the Arai Rapid, now the Arai Concept XE, if you want similar. And it's also got pin lock in there, which is another very useful accessory for keeping your vision clear. Always recommended, especially if you're out in the winter, if you hate your uh, visor fogging up, then that is very useful. First thing we'll tell you to do is to clean your motorcycle helmet, make sure it dries before you start applying it, uh, and then obviously shake the bottle. And I've put it on an awkward angle here, so I'm gonna have to lean over, but basically apply it uniformly to the visor. Coat the area you want to probably gone a little bit heavy, if I'm being honest, but there you go, you can see it dry. And it will tell you to let it dry for about 30 seconds. You should probably do it in a better vented place than I've just done it as well. Actually, it's not that bad. Uh, but leave it dry for 30 seconds. It should last about a month is what they say. Now, where you touch it, or if you were to rub the visor, you will start to rub off this coating. So you shouldn't need to touch your visor really excessively because you negate the need to actually wipe your visor. That's the whole point of this in the first place. But where you touch the clasp, where you open and close your visor, you might notice that your gloves rub off in a little corner of it. Now, if you do need to reapply it, just clean your visor, dry it off again, then respray it. It has a capacity, I believe, of, as it lists on the bottle there, 18 reapplications for a helmet, 50 for sunglasses, 35 for goggles, 100 for an action camera, so obviously dependent on the size of the surface that you're spraying, but you do get a number of reapplications because it's got a decent amount in there. You will notice looking at the visor, you might be able to see it on the camera there, that it does have a slight film. Now, this is an old helmet. My visor is far from clean. So for me, most of the time, my helmet is dirtier than this. Um, so I wouldn't really notice a difference. If you have a brand new helmet and a brand new visor, you will notice that it does make a little bit of a film. Now, unlike with some other anti-fog sprays and things that I've used in the past, where sometimes what that translates to is it makes it a little bit uh, less sharp, your vision. That's not the case with this one. It is still sharp and it is still 100% transparent. So it doesn't impede your vision, but you will notice that there's a bit of a film on there. Now, that should be long enough for it to have dried. It says 30 seconds. So if I get the little demonstrator pipette, whatever it is, bottle of water. Uh, I'm gonna mess my desk up a little bit here and spray it on. You should be able to see how it reacts with the visor. So it just bounces off. That really is quite good. That looks good on camera, I'm hoping. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we were quite impressed in the office with what it does. You do need to make sure that it dries for long enough. So um, if you wanna demonstrate at home and just uh, entertain your friends then uh, you might wanna let it dry a little bit longer. Obviously, if you're doing it to actually take it out on the road, you'll let it dry anyway. Um, but there you go, you can see actually what it does. So if you were in the market, if you do have to ride in the rain, uh, then it could be a useful thing for you to add. You can find it on our website if you want to. And if you do end up using it, let us know your feedback, how you get on with it, your experiences. You can drop that all in the comments section down below. And I will see you soon, bye. It's surprisingly fun.